What are some things you should not do when selling your home? Number one, list for sale by owner. Obvious reasons there. When you list your home for sale by owner, you're missing out on a big audience of people. You know why? Because you're the only person trying to sell your house. When you list with a realtor, you have hundreds of other agents who are going to be trying to find a buyer to get your home sold. So that's mistake number one. Number two is to hang around during the showings. I can't tell you how many times I've listed a house and the sellers are like, well, you know, I'd really like to be here for the showings because we know more about this house than anybody. We can answer the buyer's questions and I get where they're coming from. The problem is, number one, it makes buyers very uncomfortable when the seller is there. They feel like they're an intrusion. They feel like they need to hurry. Or on the opposite end of the spectrum, they want to get buddy-buddy with the seller. So the buyer and the seller start talking. And a lot of times the seller may say something that they think is a great selling point of the home or the property. But guess what? It's a total turn off to the buyer. So you have to understand that as a seller of your house, the things about it that are important to you that you think every buyer would want to know, that may not be the case. That one thing may be a turn on to you, but a turn off to a buyer. So you don't want to hang out during the showings. Number three is don't underestimate the importance of professional listing photos. I've said this time and time and time again. Cell phone photos are not going to do your home justice. They can't get a good angle. They don't have the proper lighting. As a realtor, I'm not a photographer. I've not taken training on that. So I'm happy to take photos of myself and my granddaughter playing around, but I am not going to try and sell a house based on cell phone photos. So don't underestimate what the importance is of professional photographs. The last thing I'm going to share with you is don't overprice the home just to see if you get any bites. In the market that we're in, when homes on average sell within 30 days, you don't want to gamble with the biggest asset you've probably got. When you overprice your home, you're going to sit on the market because buyers know our market. They're going to look at your photos. They're going to look at the square footage. They're going to know whether or not your home is truly worth the amount that you're asking for it. So when you overprice your home, you're costing yourself money and you're costing yourself time. My four tips on what not to do when selling your house.